All right, what's up, people? Your boy Chris right here. Um, man, it's been crazy. Uh, this is like another update. I think all my videos are like kind of like a live update and stuff. Um, first of all, I wanted to address the weight loss stuff. I pretty much remember I put on YouTube or at least in the channel, and I did follow through for a week. I lost uh, 10 pounds and but it didn't feel the same because I, it's it still be like second time i do it uh first time i did it like two years ago and it didn't feel right because i wasn't able to exercise so i think that was like a major key factor on my diet like hey you have to be able to exercise you know um and i wasn't i still not uh for some legal reasons and stuff i won't be i kind of i'm not able to disclose here but um so I'm not able to go exercise or nothing. So that being said, I just wanted to put some light on it because I remember today, I'm like, shit, I said that and I never put like a follow through video. But the reason for this video is like, I just finished watching uh, Bob Proctor's uh, seminar for Power Rhyme Shift. And dude, what a seminar. Uh, it, this is like the third time I watched one of these seminars on the same topic pattern and shift and i really suggest you keep watching the same thing all over and over and over again it works um repetition that's one of the best laws uh the law of order the law of vibration incredible stuff on his seminars but the reason why i'm just putting this video out it's because he has a quote that it's stuck uh, say it with me, I don't know how to say it, it struck me, I don't know how to say it in English, and it's, that says, like, it's not who you are that holds you back, it's who you think you are not, let me repeat that, it's not who you are that holds you back, it's who you think you are not, let's say you go, you want to buy a bigger car, but not that too expensive, because you don't think you deserve a bigger car, or a bigger house, or a better job, or a better, or a, better uh, a raise at work. Who knows? Maybe a bigger business, maybe more employees. Who knows? But that took me, and the reason why I say so is because as soon as I finished the seminar, I saw a lady, and I'm pretty sure it's the kind of lady I want to attract into my life. Uh, one way or the other like the same way I look at Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone like I want somebody like her You know at the same time I look at people like Shane Dawson and Ryan Adams that I'm gonna get married soon But like you know how cool is to have somebody as supportive as Ryan is to Shane, you know Both to each other so like that kind of bond within a couple It's something so hard to find or to build because it's not something you find something you build of course but like Elena Cardone, then you have Ed, uh, Ed, Andy Frizella and his wife. It's just crazy. And this lady, she has made well over $300,000 in a couple of months just joining his practice and his consulting. And she's only 23 years old. She's super pretty. Like, she's gorgeous. She's, you see her, it's like, oh my goodness, like, where have you been all my life? But again, she was talking on stage. And first, I thought it came to my mind find her name, find her social media, like, I open all my social media accounts, I found her on Instagram, uh, Twitter, I believe so, and also Facebook, but I added her on Facebook, even LinkedIn, which is weird, uh, even on Facebook, I added her, and kid you not, not even, like, 10 minutes, boom, she accepted it, I'm like, oh, shit, like, wow, and next thought I had, I'm, Listen, when I wanted to add her, I was shaking. It was like this, like literally shaking because my partner was telling me like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Like for one reason, I don't know. I was thinking like, maybe I'm not good enough, like just to even talk to her, to even add her. And after she has said to my request, my first thought comes to mind, just text her. I just see this face. Like I was literally shaking all the way. And as I was writing the message, just like any random message, my, I was having a lot of barriers, excuses, like, don't do it, like, why are you doing this, blah, 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 blah. But I even hit send without rereading the, what I wrote, so maybe I have some uh, misspells, I think you write it like that, on there. But, I mean, it will be super funny, 
if she gets to watch this video a couple of years down the road or maybe a couple of months on the road i don't know because she has a event march 3rd in texas so i might think about going there i don't know um again it's not like the number one priority business wise financially wise i've been keeping track of all the expenses like makes sense makes no sense like if it's not something amazon related or personal uh development related i just don't do it i'm out of it but this girl like she has power like i don't care about the fact that she makes money i care about the fact that she wants to keep improving herself and help other people i honestly don't know how the program works but that's one thing right so i thought about that little quote like it's not who you think it's not who you are that holds you back it's who you think you are not and I, I, I'm more than enough because I'm always improving myself day in, day out, day in, day out, like week in, week out, month in, month out, and the rest comes. And the second thing I had in mind is I'm watching all the Proctor stuff and I think I'm worthy of what I want. I, I love designer clothes more, more than, do they look nice? Yeah, they look okay. But be honestly speaking to you guys, I mean, as 2020, I'm just talking to myself, <laughs> filming these videos. Uh, honestly, talking to myself, I just want the brand because of what they stand for. Like, they stand for um, exclusiveness. Like, not everybody has Fendi, not everybody has Prada, not everybody has Louis V, no, nobody. Like, really few people. And that's what I wanted because I want to just like. I always feel exclusive. I love the most expensive. I love the best stuff. I love the best cars. I love the best places, the best mansions, everything. The best seats on the plane. I love that. And that's what it will represent to me. Like, all right, you're worthy of it. Keep working at it. But then something else struck my mind that I've been working on for years. Years. Like, this is probably the project I've been working the longest at, on. I mean, it's not like every single day, it's more like one month, yes, one month, not because I just don't give it importance to it, but I want it. And I tell to myself, before I get to invest into more designer clothing, I will invest into myself, meaning my brand. And I have a couple companies, but there's one that means, as right now, the most to me. And I'm talking right now because I know I'll be doing more meaningful stuff down the road. And it's a company that started all, like, everything and it stands for jmih meaning just make it happen and that's all i've been doing just making it happen even just sending that message i feel it just made it happen you know you send it even if he doesn't answer i know i overcame that barrier on my own so i keep conquering my own mind and body and part of them as well and guess what i did i try not to but i did uh Google up the best places to make your own merch, all that stuff. And I did it. It took me about two hours to actually make the choice, the decision to just press on it. Like crazy. Like I had the money. I have the car already. I have the shipping. Everything is there. But what was lacking was the decision. Like once you want something, you just have to make a decision and commit to it and follow through. Everything else will come and fall into place. Like, the reason why I would love to build my own brand, like, I just did it. I'm building it right now, you know, but the clothes are coming in the next week or two. And it's because, man, it's me. There is no coming back from this. Like, I started my company. I haven't had a job since November last year. I don't even mean job. It's mean Uber, like, doing deliveries. You guys seen those videos? Like, hey, I got a delivery. I'm doing this. It's training, like, whatever it was. And it has November, December, January, February. It's been four months, about to be five months since I haven't had a job. And in the back of my mind, sometimes it's like, what if you go back? And these clothes mean to me, there is no coming back. Just keep going up. You know, once you, I don't know how to explain it, but once you know what you're capable of, you just don't go back at all. Like you, you just keep going up and up and up and up and inwards. Because everything you want outside, it starts from the inside, you know? Up, down, inside out, like Bob Proctor teaches. And if you guys don't know what that means, put it down in the comments, uh, send me a message, whatever. I'll just honestly explain to you. But remember, well, I actually explain it right now because I'm still driving. Upside down means everything comes from your subconscious, goes through, everything starts in your intellectual mind, which is the conscious, 
goes to your subconscious, which is the emotional mind that just accepts anything you give to, and then goes into the body as vibration, which goes to actions and equals results. That's in a nutshell what it means. So upside down, inside out. Honestly, I have my parking spot. How fucking cool. I didn't lose my parking spot. Well, it, it's like a weekday and people just work. So I'm about to get to work too. But that's what it is. And I'm just so fucking happy that... I'm so happy and grateful that I have my friend. I know those clothes will be coming in the next week or two. And I'm crossing my fingers it lands before the pallet gets here because I just got another order. It's a big pallet from California. Uh, man, that's just like, we're still growing, man. We're still growing and that just excites me way more than you guys think because as I'm going, I'm figuring shit out by myself, you know, myself, me, myself, and I. Just figuring stuff out. Like, is it going to work out? The business model, I don't know, but I know I believe in myself and I will make it work, yes or yes. And I, I just keep watching videos, doing this, more suppliers. Like I have like a long list of suppliers to hit up right now. And that's when I'm, I went to buy some stuff at Walmart uh, and it's just so crazy shit, crazy, crazy shit. And yeah, man, I mean, I'm about to get home, to get out. I'm actually watching, uh, been watching the last Airbender Avatar. I loved the 2005 and I'm just rewatching the season two. I think it's the Earth book or something. So if you guys love that, let me know. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.